Let me show you my feet. No better for your father the one who will die in jail. So it's not easy living in Lagos. Ah, oh, see where I'm sweating. Or living in Africa in general. Or living in a hot climate. Okay. I hope this is even. I'm using this, right? It's not easy in any way in my body. See where I'm sweating. I hate sweating so much. That's the reason why every time I want to go out, it just, just makes me tired. Hey, hey, girls. Welcome to another vlog. Enjoy the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. If you're just seeing this beautiful picture for the first time, don't. For the first time, don't. Why am I speaking rubbish English? For the first time, don't forget. Goodbye. <laughs> This one is how much? One thousand two. You guys, I asked my security man to help me get Suya. <laughs> I won't believe that this suya <laughs> this is two thousand era suya like I'm in shock. What a guan what is happening? It is where this thing should have been like five hundred before before before. Ah oh god, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. This is the the, the nature of the country at the moment. As you can see, normal suya is supposed to have like cabbage um onions tomatoes but there's nothing like that that's how terrible things have become this 2000 era say god <laughs>
Good morning, gummies. Welcome to another day in my life. The time is currently 9.55 a.m. So I'm about heading out. Let me show you my feet. I mean my outfits. <laughs> money, money in my pocket. Too much money. And the problem is how to spend it. <laughs> this isn't even up to a thousand dollars. Uh, this isn't even up to a hundred dollars, this. Anyway, this is all the cash that I have. Uh, hmm. Let me show you. I have to like step back. I can't really go back. This is the feet. Wearing this branded t-shirt from Z Crest. I really love Z Crest Wealth. I really love the quality of the t-shirt. So yeah, I'm one. I'm someone that does not like branded um, outfits, but I love this one. I'm liking this one so i wear it i love the quality and i love black so much mm -hmm. i'm actually not happy today i'm not happy um so anyway i have like a couple of errands to run as you already know i am taking my outfit to the fashion designer for the wedding you know and also and from there i'll be going to the mall like i need to get a few supplies i need to get a few things for the house so i have to do that and yeah i said i'm not happy like my whole mood is a roller coaster at the moment because hmm, you know i social media is my life social media is where i eat from it is where i survive from that's what pays me basically and <laughs> And you know, for me to do that, I need electricity. I'm not happy because it's not like there's no electricity in Nigeria currently. There is electricity. But the problem is, my meter has gotten bad. Like, I've not had electricity for some days now. And the things that I even want to get, I'm so scared. I don't want them to, like, get bad in the fridge. So I'm really scared, you guys. I don't even know like what the next step is i did not have electricity for like days and yesterday the <laughs> electrician came around to check it out and he said the issue is the meter and that's gonna take a while and i need to work like that's going to drain me it's going to drain me financially because i have to look for an alternative yeah the generator is not that good but 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 it can suffice at the moment and but that's basically spending so much on fuel and at some point i'll have to look for a co-working space or a, uh to just you know like a cafe to just sit and get some things done because like i really have a lot to do i have a lot to do that i can't like electricity should not be holding me down at the moment credit a lot I think let me let me see <laughs> see my watch i can see i can see like messages on my watch <laughs> that's like one very cool thing about this watch this is an orimo watch how would you even tell that this is an apple um i put the link to this watch in my description box so make sure you try to check it out this is the orimo um wristwatch but anyway all the details will be in the description and um yeah, you can also get 5% off when you shop using my discount code at checkout. Discount code will be on the screen and also in the description just in case you forget. Let me check my message. I love to see credit alerts and I want to believe that I just got paid for my affiliates. Yes, that brings me to something. I did not, I didn't even realize I wanted to talk about this, but I didn't know when I wanted to talk about it. This brings me to Orimo Affiliates. If you want to be part of the affiliate to earn um, passive income, you can sign up with the code in the description. You can check it out. Sign up with that code. You get 10% when anybody shops using your code. As you all know, since last year, Orimo has been the one feeding me. I mean, before YouTube came, before I got a job, I've been fending off Orimo for real. I'm not even capping. Like, it's a very good um, passive income. Like, if you know how to um, 
Oraimo is already a big brand. They have a name. So if you would like to be a part of the affiliates, um, you can just sign up. When you get accepted, whoever uses your code, you get a 10% commission on every purchase that anybody makes. That's so cool. So far, I have been able to make over 5 million Naira for them. If not 10 for them in the past one year. So do you know what that means? <laughs> do you know what that means? Making up to a million Naira just from affiliate. Like it's such, like it's so good. Let me not blab too much about it. Let me just check my credit alerts right now. Mm? So I like this watch so much. It's passworded because I can actually see my messages. Uh, 90,000 for what? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you. This is. See how this watch works. But that's not Rhymo Payment. <laughs> that's something else. I don't know what it is. I have to. Oh, I think it's my sister that sent it for me to help her get something. Anyway, I have to go now. Um, I'll be going to do some grocery. I think I've said too much already. Working for days. It's not bad. <laughs> See young men. So you're making them all. If I had data, I had as many people that I even have data, they are even there empty. Lee, my data finished yesterday as I was reviewing a video. Let me buy data now. Mm -hmm. I cannot use my USSD to buy data. And this is banned for like three days now. Their mm -hmm. bank app is not opening. So it's a uh, USSD code I've been using to do transfer. <laughs> I see it, I like it, I check the price, I drop it back. <laughs>
because you don't even believe what's happening. Like, I've been trying to get a ride for quite some time now. Um, it's been really yeah. hard. You know, coming this way, there was like serious traffic and it's stopping a lot of rides from coming towards this access. It's just crazy. In a normal, yeah, so I was struggling to get a ride. Anyway, I got a ride and he's almost here. Like the traffic, oh, the traffic towards this place is so bad. It's so bad. If it wasn't important for me to like take my dress to make, I wouldn't have come this towards this way. Because even, you know, like I decided not to make my hair because I didn't want to come towards this axis because this is also where I like make my hair and trip of like, and I also quit my job. And that job, if I was if I was going to work, I would have been experiencing this thing. So yeah. <laughs> last, last, I still would have quit. In the end, I look so beautiful. Even though I look so So right now the gen has come on, it has gone off, it can't even carry the freezer, it cannot carry the freezer, it cannot carry my small fridge in the room as well, and I bought these things, I'm so glad I did not buy chicken, I swear, I'm so glad I did not buy chicken, like, I'm just going to fry these things so they don't go bad because no light, gen cannot take the freezer, can't, like, <laughs> <laughs> it is well. Even this yogurt that I bought, they are not even cold. This, ah, God, I'm frustrated. Like, This is so sad because like this is really sad actually I'm so glad I didn't buy the the fruits that I wanted to so I have this so I'm just gonna put it in my security man's in freezer so whenever I need it I just go get it because I actually bought these things because for like breakfast so i can't just like i'm so frustrated right now i hate this feeling like the way i'm feeling i'm just looking for where to go to like i just want to leave this place i just want to leave this place i can't function here you know my job you know the kind of my content creation is going to suffer i don't even want to talk anymore self uh, this is really painful this also means that I cannot make stew in large quantities. I can't make soup in large quantities. Like, I can't, I, my, my plan was to go buy some fruits, like veggies and all that. But I can't even try that. I will not even try it. Now it's going to cost me more. I'm going to spend more by buying these things bit by bit when I want to use them. But it's okay. I'll manage. I'll manage for now. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the strength to always go out to buy things. That's the reason why I just buy in bulk to keep in the house. <laughs> Regardless, I'm just glad that I didn't buy a lot of um, fresh stuff, proteins, veggies, fruits and all. Yeah. I guess I just have to be buying food also. I don't even know because this is not sustainable. I can't survive like this. I cannot survive like this. No way on earth will I be able to survive this way. No way. When it's not like this is a stone age. This is 2024 for goodness sake. 
It's not as if we usually have constant power supply safe. On top of that, my meat are now got bad. Now I'm just suffering. Like tomorrow, I have to go to a co working space to work. I have to do that. If not, <laughs> no content for you guys. I have to be there to edit and, and export and upload if possible, if time permits. And that is the same route where there is crazy and heavy standstill traffic. But then, this is my job. I need to do it. It will get better, it is well. <laughs> One thing about me, and if you're also watching this, you're a YouTuber, you're a creator, whether YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, I am more um, invested in YouTube. So whichever platform you're more invested in, just don't let anything weigh you down. Don't let anything come in your way of your success. See, I'm not even letting this stop me. I'll create the content. I'll go to a co-working space. I will pay and sit there. I'll pay to be there to use this space all for content. <laughs> all because I love this thing. That's the reason why I said if you don't love content creation, you cannot do it. Because when the challenges arise, or when the challenges arise, how will you be able to cope? If you don't have true love for this thing, you are just going to give up. For real. I've had serious issues with, you know, a lot of things that would have come in my way, like storage, storage issue. I was using a 64 gigabyte phone, but I didn't let it stop me. Honestly, I had I looked for a way. I cannot give excuses. So that's one thing I think that you should learn from me. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Always look for a solution. Okay? Yeah. Let me shall take this thing to my security and then I'll just prepare noodles. Yeah, so let's cook together. Let's prepare noodles together. <laughs> Has anybody used this? Because I haven't and I'm quite scared. <laughs> Who said me go buy this thing now? <laughs> <laughs> 